Hey guys, this I'm right here. This is just a quick preview of the Synogen Mode 9 on the Samsung Galaxy S2 i9100G. Now recently, um, Samsung releases the Android ICS update for um, i9100G, uh, Malaysia, Vietnam and India and also China. And Synogen Mode actually releases the next day. So um, after the official up ICS update, and um, then this is still an experimental build, which is not official yet, but um, it's quite okay, very stable, uh, actually quite good for um, daily usage, and actually releasing, releasing update every single day. I mean, almost every day, but um, yeah, it's really very good for daily usage. For start, we have the ICS lock screen. Um, it's not widget lock or anything. This is a stock ICS lock screen. And then you got the ICS home screen, which is the triple chat launcher by um, Synogen mode. You can actually customize the number of pages you want and the transitions effects and the search bar on the top, which I've disabled. And I'm um, just going to show you uh, the menu. It's not bad, but um, lack of uh, functions that um, Samsung used to have, the official ICS update used to have. And you got widgets, you got apps, and you got access to Play Store, which is just the same. And um, you got the ICS widgets. And folders. And yeah, I'm just going to show you this is running ICS and Synogen Mod 9 GTI 9100G um, Android 4.0.4 Synogen Mod Statistics um, Yeah, that's uh, actually just all about the Synogen Mod And um, the music player comes with it uh, Messes up my library actually Um I have a great lot of songs, but uh, the tri title actually just messed up. I don't know why. And um, camera, yes, it does work. And you can even use a power button to um, focus it and uh, take a picture quickly. And video recording works as well. Panorama, yeah, that that also works. The browser came with it, um, you know, stock uh, ICS browser, but um, I don't like using the stock uh, ICS browser, so I've actually used I'm actually using Google Chrome Beta, and um, that's about it. And um, the phone call, you know, is everything just stock ICS. Just like a stock ICS and um, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything is, works fine. As you can see, um, the uh, Wi-Fi is connected. Um, data is working, Wi-Fi direct and VPN and um, everything works. And you can even customize some of the settings. Can customize launcher, lock screen, teams, and system. There's nothing, nothing really much about team. You only get this, um, yeah, current team. It's just the same. You can adjust some system settings. And there's the uh, recent apps, and some of uh, some of them are still running. The uh, notification bar is just still the same. ICS, where and uh, you can actually access the settings right here. You can actually also um, turn on the power widgets, which can actually toggle some uh, power widget right here. 
Yeah, I think that that's just about it. And um, the flashlight, uh, the app that came with it, doesn't really work well. Let's torch. Torch on. No LED lights. It's turned on. It's turned on high brightness instead. Let's turn it on. Frequency, frequency is turned off. No. Torch will not work. And it actually came without a YouTube player, which I've just found out today. And uh, some of the apps that uh, I wanted on my phone, like Polaris Office, My Files, anything, but um, it doesn't have that. And uh, reason, uh, currently I've tested, not, ma uh, not many problems. Um, not bad, battery life is still okay, I have to recharge every day, it's not really that good. And um, it actually heats up quite easily when I'm playing games, something, and um, well, sometimes it's not really the final version, that's why it's, um, and it's not really that um, stable. And multitasking, yes, works. Everything is working. Uh, you can make calls, SMS, and do anything you like with your phone. Actually, everything works. But some say the Wi-Fi direct isn't working. And the vibrator, um, there's something wrong with the vibrator. I don't know, because after I upgraded to Synogen Mode 9, um, it actually vibrates just that little bit. And... Um, not really full and um, because this is uh, not really based on any Samsung ROMs so you won't get Samsung settings, you won't get Samsung apps nothing so the the capacitive touch um, keys the backlight you can't, you can't actually set it Synology mod uh, says that you actually um, um, fix that and um, well that's it and what I like is this one, which is missing on most Samsung ROMs, you know, CRT of animation, which I really like it, but I have no idea why they are missing in Samsung ROMs. Now, that's it, the preview of the Synology Mod 9. So, um, if, you want, if you want to flash it, the, uh, the link is below, where will bring you the forum and um, flash it. So, um, yeah, guys who flash it and... Um, so uh, remember to like this video if I helped you and um, yeah, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Goodbye.